I'm addicted to speed. Buckle up, Buttercup! I stood here just a few weeks ago telling you I had no idea what kind of direction I was going to go with for the two-door as far as a tune. But I decided I'm going to start from the basics. Now, I'm not saying I'm not going to change this. I may change it and try a different tune, but right now I'm going to go with the Ford Performance Calibration that's available for the 2.3 Broncos, 2.7 Broncos, Bronco Raptors, Ranger Raptors, and a little birdie told me that it's coming out for the 2.3 Rangers very soon. And then of course Ford has it for a couple other vehicles like the F-150 Raptor, the ST, and I think the Mustang. I do carry all of those at buckleuploffroad.com for an amazing price of $6.95. So if you're in the market for this, be sure to check out my website. But let's get into the details of what in the world is this Ford Performance Calibration. In this video, of course, I'm going to show you the draggy hits before and after installation. I'm also going to show you how easy it is to install. And I have my cheat sheet here to kind of give you the basics of this tune. Now, this is specific information for the 2.3. Now, when it comes to the bigger engines, the Ranger Raptors and all of that, you're gonna get different numbers. But today's video is based off the numbers for the 2.3. Now stock, they come with 300 horsepower and 325 pounds foot of torque. But after installing this, you're gonna go up to 330 horsepower and 385 pounds foot of torque. So that's a gain of 30 horsepower and 65 pounds foot of torque. That's quite a lot when it comes to the 2.3 engine. In fact, I've had this on my 2.3 four-door Bronco and I would say the gains, like just the feeling of the pushback was way more than adding it to my 2.7. But like I said, they're all different numbers here, but this thing is gonna be so much lighter than my other 2.3. I'm really excited to see how the draggy results are gonna come through. Gaining numbers and horsepower and torque is always super exciting for everyone, but something that a lot of people don't talk about that you also receive with this tune is you get a better throttle response and better shifting points. Plus, with this tool specifically, you can change gearing, you can change your tire size, and a couple other things. You get some gauges and stuff with that. And one question I get asked a lot is, do I have to keep this plugged in for it to work? Absolutely not. If you are like me, you're going to flash the Bronco and then you're gonna put the ProCal tool either in your glove compartment or somewhere in your house and you may lose it. And I'm not saying I did that. I do wanna add the one main selling point for this is you can maintain your warranty. And if you haven't seen my video about the Magnuson Moss Act, people are always super scared about voiding your warranty. There's no such thing as voiding your warranty, just hands down. Now, maybe a dealership will try to decline a warranty claim, but with this, you get to maintain your factory warranty. And this also comes with like a specific warranty all in itself if it's installed by a Ford dealer. Now, obviously, I'm not a Ford dealer, but I have installed a lot of these, not just on all of the vehicles here, but also for friends. It is very easy, but if you are even a little bit scared of messing something up, I highly advise you have a professional do so. So let's start the flashback sequence of what the draggy numbers were, base before we flash it. Go! In the 60 foot, we did that in 2.31 seconds. Zero to 60 was 7.17 seconds. And we did the eighth mile, okay, here it is, 9.86 at 71 miles an hour. Now that we got the base draggy numbers out in the open, it's time to have some fun and flash this thing. I wanna show you what the tool looks like. Now in this box, you're gonna get a voucher and some paperwork and instructions on how to install this. And like I said, if you're not comfortable doing this on your own, I do recommend professional installation. But this is the ProCal tool right here. You're gonna have a voucher number in here. Before you do anything 
with that voucher number. You need to go to the website, it's a Ford Performance website, and sign in or create an account and follow the instructions. It's very important to do this in a specific order because otherwise you may have just bricked this ProCal. Another thing to keep in mind is you do need a Windows-based computer to do any of this. You can't use a MacBook, you can't use your iPhone, it has to be a Windows computer. So keep that in mind before you go spend the dough on this. Now that we did all of the first steps, we validated the ID, we got our voucher and all that information put into the system, we're gonna hook this up to the OBD2 port to get the stock calibration onto the ProCal. It's important to keep this ProCal tool because if for some reason you wanna take the tune off and flash it back to stock, the stock calibration is also on here. So the tune is on here and the stock calibration is on here. And then you have a couple other options on here. You're gonna have module info, diagnostic tools, so you can read your intake temperature sensors and things like that. You can also change your tire size. You can change the gears if you decide to upgrade that. And then you have data logging. And if you are a gearhead, you know what that is. I'm not gonna go you know, too in depth of what that is, but there are a couple different options with this. So it's more than just a tune. You do get a couple extra settings with that. We have everything installed. I'm gonna heat cycle it and then we're gonna drive it around for a little bit, get it kind of used to the new tune. We're gonna do a draggy hit. One thing to keep in mind is the longer you drive this around with the performance tune on it, the better it's going to perform because it's going to learn your driving habits. So if it doesn't blow you away the first hit, which it's going to, it definitely will a couple weeks down the line. Ooh. I've got the numbers right here. And just looking at these numbers, I wanna give you kind of a glimpse of the future. I haven't posted this video yet, but I did put the ProCal on the Bronco Raptor and did some draggy hits. And one of these numbers for the two door is better than the Bronco Raptor. Ah! Here we go. Stock at the 60 foot, we did a 2.31. Now we're at a 1.98. The zero to 60 stock was 7.17. After the tune, 6.57. And then the eighth mile, we did 9.86 at 71 miles an hour. Now we did 9.36 at 71 miles an hour. So what does that mean? That means we took off 0.33 on the 60 foot. We took off over a half a second, 0.6 in the zero to 60, and in the eighth mile, half a second, 0.5. Wow, for as little as this cost, wonderful, awesome gains, so much fun. Don't forget, you can get this at buckleupoffroad.com for 6.95, guys. All this fun, all the smiles, it's all about the smiles per gallon. One thing I forgot to mention is you do need to go to 93 gas when you add the tune if you want everything to work properly. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I love doing these videos, they're so much fun. Now we're gonna really start the mods. Maybe I'll keep this tune, maybe I'm gonna do something more aggressive in the future. We just never know. But you know what you should do? Buckle up, buttercup.